In this lesson, we will focus on the Wages Journal. The specific objectives for this lesson is to explain the term wages, to explain the basic salary scale, to explain the difference between normal time and overtime, to draw up a wages journal, to complete the wages journal including employer's contribution, to record payments in the cash book, and to post the wages journal and the cash book to the general ledger. Now a company may employ a lot of people in order for it to achieve its objectives. For instance, it might need employees to negotiate with suppliers, it also might need employees to answer telephone calls, it might need employees to deliver goods, and it also may need employees to record transactions on the accounting system. Now there's a difference between employees that earn a basic salary and employees that earn wages. Employees that earn basic salary are paid monthly while employees that earn wages are paid weekly. Now all these employees before they get paid they get issued a payslip. Let's have a look at how a payslip looks like. This is an example of a payslip. Now a payslip mainly outlines an employee's earnings and deductions. And if you subtract the two, you'll get your net wages. Let's have a look at this payslip in more detail. Our gross wages comprise of two items. It's our normal time and our overtime. So if we were to calculate our gross wages, we will say normal wages plus our overtime wages and that will give us our gross wages. Let's have a look at another term. Over here we have net wages. Now this is the money that will be transferred to the employee's bank account. Now this amount comprises of our gross wages and our total deductions. So now in order to calculate our net wages, we do the following. We take our gross wages less our deductions and that will give us our net wages. Our normal time is 40 hours and this is the norm for most companies. Most employees work 8 hours a day and 8 times 5 will give us 40 hours. And this is our normal time. And every hour we work after 40 hours, this will be our overtime. So in this case, employee B Roots worked 47 hours, 40 of which is normal time, and the 7 that's left over will be overtime. Lastly, we will have a look at our deductions. Now there are various deductions that can be displayed on an employee's payslip, but the common ones we have displayed here. We have our income tax or pay as you earn. This is the tax that the employee needs to pay to the government, but the employer collects this tax on the employee's behalf and pays it to the receiver of revenue. Then we have Hela Namibia Pension Fund. A monthly contribution is made to the pension fund and then this benefit is paid out to the employee when he or she retires. Our next deduction is the Social Security Commission and this is a fund that makes provision for the employee when the employee maybe becomes sick or has an accident and becomes disabled or when the employee is on maternity leave. The next deduction is the forefront union. Now a union is usually a group that protects the rights of the employees. Therefore the employee needs to make a contribution to the union. And then lastly the deduction that is not on the space lab is medical aid. Now medical aid can also be deducted from an employee's payslip. This means that the employee pays a certain amount to the medical aid which is a benefit and that benefit is in the form of 
hospital costs when the when the employee or its family needs to see a doctor then the medical aid will usually cover these costs now the wages journal is also a book of first entry used to calculate the employee's wages or salary and it's drawn up using the employee's information and this information can be the employee's time worked the employee's rate per hour and the deductions other information can also form part of this as we will see in later videos